Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on the Vivo V50. Okay, so let's begin. So as you can see, we are doing the setup process. So now simply click on start. In here, select your location, then click on next. In here, enable that you have read and agreed to the above conditions. Then simply click on next. And now we have the first thing that we are interested in, which is set up using another device. We want to click on Android device. And now we need to scan this QR code using our second device. So let's open up our camera and let's scan this code right in here. All right. Now the phone wants us to turn on the Bluetooth, then click on continue. Okay, continue setup on your new device. Let's wait a little bit. All right, getting your phone ready. This might take a few minutes. So we need to wait until this loading screen vanishes. Okay. Now we need to verify that it's actually us. So now we have our Google account that we are currently locked in on our second device. And now we need to type the password to it. So just let me do it. All right, then click on next. Okay, now we need to enter. Oh, something went wrong actually. Okay, now, now it works. Okay. Now we need to set unlock method. Now, simply click on... In here you can set your unlock method. It's not necessary, actually. We can... I'm gonna skip it for now. Okay, now, we have option to copy data from our Android device. We want to click on next. Okay, now we have com information on our second device that we need to continue set up on our Vivo. Okay, again, wait to copy. Again, this might take a few minutes. All right, and now we have option to choose what we want to copy. So we can copy the apps, photos and videos, device settings, and the call history. For example, when it comes to the apps, we don't need to, you know, copy all of them. We can click on apps right in here and we can select which specific apps that we want to copy or not to copy. So let's say I'm going to do it that way. Okay, only three, 38 apps I want to copy. In here, we can see that is going to take about three minutes and I'm going to leave the rest. So now click on copy. Now we need to wait a little bit. Okay, now we have the Google services. In here, I'm gonna simply click on accept. Now we have option to turn on the backup. If you want it, simply select photos and videos and all the device data. I suggest you should also turn it on, just like I did. Now we need to select our default browser. In my case, it's gonna be the Google Chrome. Then click on set as default. And now select a search engine. In my case, it's gonna be the Google. Okay, let's continue the setup. Let contacts nearby find you and share with you. Now I'm gonna click on that. I agree. Okay, mid Gemini, your personal AI assistant. Click on continue. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna skip the Google Pay. And here I'm gonna click on no thanks. Okay, as you can see, we are on the level around 30% of the copying process. Now let's wait until it gets to 100%. You can see also on the left side that it's gonna take about two minutes. So let's be patient. Okay, now we can see that the copying is done. 38 apps were copied and will be installed after setup, photos and videos, device settings and the call history has been successfully copied. Now click on done. We can also see on our second device that Copying is done and we need to continue the setup on 
on the vivo. All right, now the phone asks us, do we want to keep the system update? Click on next. Okay, in here, I suggest you should click on agree. In here, click on next. Okay, now the navigation mode. I'm gonna leave the gesture one. Now click on next, click on get started. And now, yeah, now we are ready to use our device. Okay, so that was the first method. All right, and now I'm gonna show you the second method, which is by restoring your backup from the Google One. Also, if you don't know how to create such a backup, also now channel there's a video when I'm showing you the whole process. So if you want, you can look for it. All right, so now again, we are doing the setup process in here. Simply click on skip this time. Okay, now we need to connect to Wi-Fi manually. So simply select your Wi-Fi. And now let's connect. Okay. Now we need to wait a little bit. Okay, and now we need to log in into the same Google account on which we made the backup. It is crucial. Otherwise, if you log in into other account, there's a chance that you won't be able to restore the backup. So in here, simply type your email. That's what I'm going to do now. Then click on next. Now. So something like, okay, now I need to enter up my password. All right, then click on next. Okay. I'm gonna be using this device. Click on next, click on I agree. Now again, we need to wait. Okay, just now, just like in the previous method. I'm gonna skip the screen lock for now. Okay, now we have, again, option to copy apps and data. Click on next. Okay, and that's the thing that we were looking for. Restore data from another device. Okay, and in here we have all our backups which are stored on our Google account. In here I have the backup that I made 52 minutes ago on this phone and I want to restore it. So simply click on it. Now in here choose what to restore. We can restore apps, contacts and the device settings. Okay, so simply click on restore. And now the process will launch. Okay, now again we have the Google services. Click on accept. Also, just like in the previous method, I'm gonna enable the backup. In here also Google Chrome as my default browser. And the Google as my search engine. Now click on continue. In here again, I'm gonna click on I agree. Okay, in here, click on no thanks, so, but it's completely up to you. Click on skip, in here also I'm gonna click on no thanks. Okay, again, we need to wait a little bit. All right, we are after the process now. Just like in the previous case. So I'm gonna click on next, agree, next. I'm gonna leave the three button gesture navigation and click on get started. And now, as you can see, your phone is ready to use. Now the apps will download, as you can see from the Play Store, they will be downloaded in the background. So make sure that you are connected to your Wi Fi. All right, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.